not, we're not going to do any plumbing, but we are going to do some drawing of pipes. And these are called black iron pipes. And you see I've got some different pipe fittings here. These are called fittings because they fit two pieces of pipe together. You see I've got a T there, and I've got one that's a cap right there. And this is a 45 degree angle, another T, a 90 degree angle. Let's see, I've got an extension piece there and a plug, and then there's another 90 degree pipe. I like to draw these in class because it teaches kids how to um, shade. So I'm going to show you how to do this and you can practice your shading. Okay, so I've drawn a pipe. Now I'm going to draw a pipe this way. So kind of a 90 degree angle. Okay, maybe I want to draw one that is like a T, that T's off. Okay. Um, I could draw one that goes at an angle also. Maybe I want to come over here and go to it, you know, like a, I don't know, 45 degree angle. Let's do this right, well, let's do it right here. Okay, so I've got some pipes. Now what I want to do is I want to draw the fittings. You remember the fittings fit pipes together. So right here, this is going to be a elbow. 90 degree elbow. So I'm going to do what I call the collars. And these are the little pieces of metal that just kind of like beef up the pipe so that they can have the threads. Okay, so let me show you those real quick. So on this fitting here, we have right here I call these collars and they beef them up so they can make threads they can thread those so here's your fitting and your pipes now you can draw these freehand if you want to but I, I feel like the pipes should be drawn with a ruler So there is my elbow right there. Okay, so let's draw my T real quick. And I try to keep the collar size consistent. I mean, I'm not measuring them or anything, but you know, I try to draw them about the same. It might be a little bit different here and there, but Try to keep them the same as possible, as much as possible. Well, don't worry about it. If they're not perfect, it'll be fine. Remember, art is not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. Okay. So there is our T. So let's come over here and do our 45 degree angle. So I think I'll draw my collar right out here. Again, if they're not perfect, don't worry about it. It's not too big of a deal. Guess we could use some kind of circle template if we wanted to or you can just hand draw them it's fine I'm not doing a very good job of this one am I okay looks like our collars are a little bit bigger over here so maybe I need to beef these up a little bit okay so let's start our shading so I'm gonna erase some lines here because I don't want all of these lines Okay, so you see we have our fittings there. 
So now what I want to do is I want to start shading these. And what I want to do is on the outside, I'm going to draw really dark. And as I get to the middle, I'm going to try to lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up. Right here, I'm going to draw dark on the outside and add, lighten up the pressure. Again, I, I like my ebony pencil for this. Um, I think it works great. You could use a regular pencil, but um, I just think the ebony's work so good. I want to draw my pipe here. I want to shade this in. And I want to draw nice and dark on the outside. And as I get to the inside, I want to lighten it up. Same over here. I want to draw nice and dark. I'm trying to get some value in here. And then if I mess up my pipes a little bit, I can use the ruler to um, go back. And I can also do this. If I want to do that. It looks a little bit more smooth, doesn't it? Okay. And when I want to do my my fittings, this elbow, I want to be dark on the outside here. And as I get to the inside, I want to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And I kind of just shade like in a circle, in a you know, a quarter circle kind of hard to do sometimes, but, you know, we're learning, right? I think it's kind of nice on these to be a little bit rough because when you looked at those pipes, they have a little bit of texture to them. So it's okay to rough it up a little bit, but some people like to make them really smooth. Just depends what you want to do. I think they both, both ways can look good. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and Start a lot of pressure on the outside, and as you get to the inside, you to lighten it up. Okay, we'll do the same over here. Well, I'm doing this rather fast because you don't want to watch me all day long draw these pipes. Again, I can clean up these edges. I can even take the ruler and sharpen these up. Sometimes I'll have my students go back and do that, sharpen up the edges with the ruler. And I can take the eraser and I can kind of clean up the edges this way if I think I need it. Also, if I want to do some blending, I can get my trusty tissue and come back and blend it a little if I want to do that. Some kids like to do that. If it gets too dark in the middle, just take a little eraser and kind of erase it out. Okay, and you can do that. Come back again and work on the edges some. Darken these up. Try not to create like a line between the values. You want it to be a gradual change between values. Sometimes I get students that make like a line between the values and I can see like a definite edge there and I don't want that. I tell them to break it up, break it up, break it up, you know, so that there's no definite edge there. Maybe this one I need to kind of clean up some and I can darken it along here.
this one here, I could clean it up. I can, I can do these edges a little bit better too. I could leave a line there if I want to. If I want to, you know, have it like that, like a line. Oops, looks like I got it a little bit crooked. Remember, these collars weren't quite big enough, so I could make them a little bit bigger now. Beef them up a little bit. So that one's a little bit crooked, isn't it? Probably have to go back in there and fix that. Okay, so as you can see, we are starting to get our pipes together. When I come here, I want to do the same thing. I want to go dark on the outside and lighter as I get to the middle. Dark on the outside and lighten up the pressure as I get to the middle. And again, you can use the edge of your pencil and you can use the edge of your pencil here too. And this one here, you may have to turn it around because it's hard to do it if you don't. And then here we can make it darker. Here we can make it darker. And then it's a matter of blending it, cleaning up the edges, fixing the areas that need to be fixed. Um, it takes a little bit of time to do it and do it well. Oops, I got a little mark there. That'll be okay. We can erase it if we need to. We need to pull some light out of there. Don't, don't be afraid to go back here with your eraser and make it, you know, like this. You could do that. You can always do it just like that. Blend it a little bit. Plan to clean those edges up so they're not so hard edges, you know. But you kind of get the idea. So now, let me show you some examples of my students' work. Here is a pretty nice one. Some nice shading, and you, we see we have overlapping and the Pipes kind of make just like a big old um, maze of things. Another version, similar. This one here is really interesting. Uh, what they did was they, they made it angle back by making the pipe smaller and go back to a different level and made it smaller. And that's really interesting. Here's another version of it. Here's what we got. Here they added a spider. That's kind of funny. This one's a little bit darker than I like. You know, and I think I, some more pipes would be good. Some more fittings. And then here's kind of a lighter version. The, the fittings look a little bit different, but you know, that's okay. Okay, so go ahead and make your own pipe works. Let's see how it turns out. Practice your shading and um, you know, try to make lots of turns and twists and overlapping, and um, it looks much more interesting. Okay, we'll see you next time.